To start, let's get into some of the basics of what makes up a conductive sealant or adhesive. In most cases, there are two main components, a base polymer or binder um, and an electrically conductive filler. The binder is usually one of a number of polymers that accounts for many of the physical properties of the compound, such as the adhesive strength, flexibility, and working life. The conductive filler, on the other hand, consists of a metallic particle that is blended into the polymer to give the compound its electrical conductivity and EMI shielding properties. Later in the webinar, we'll get into some of the specific criteria for choosing the binder and filler combinations. Yeah, and it's important to note, Ben, and not always obvious to everyone, but if you're planning on using a conductive sealant or adhesive, there must be some electrical properties driving the requirement. So if that's not the case, you can just simply use a non-conductive. Um, and just as a note, throughout this webinar, you'll hear us refer to electrically conductive sealants, gap fillers, and adhesives collectively um, as compounds, conductive compounds, or specialty materials. All right, so today we're discussing two of our types of electrically conductive compounds, one being adhesives and the other being gap fillers like caulks or sealants. So, you know, choosing between an adhesive or, or a sealant is a pretty simple and driven by two factors. One is bond line thickness and one is lap shear strength. So basically, do I need to glue something that I'm never going to take apart again? Or am I doing something like sealing the seams to keep dirt, dust and rain out in EMI? And we also wanted to mention that these classifications of what makes uh, what differentiates an adhesive versus a gap filler are very specific to Parker Comerics. And this is just the terminology that we use to help distinguish products for our customers. So you may have heard it described in other ways in the past, but that's the differentiation we're making today. Um, here's a graphic for some of the visual learners on the webinar today. Um, basically adhesives are used to hold parts in place and typically work in very thin gaps, whereas sealants are used to fill larger gaps between those parts. Um, sealants may not necessarily be strong enough to act as adhesives, but if used in conjunction with mechanical fasteners like screws, they, make, they may wor work just fine for your application. Um, and in addition, most sealants can be removed using a, a solvent to soften it up with very limited damage to the housing.